Hey, this is Arthur Hill, Chief Technical Strategist at TrendInvestorPro.com. You are tuned into our YouTube channel for our weekly video analysis. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. So today we're going to drive into the growth versus value spectrum of the market. Now, we've had value outperforming growth for several months now, but all of a sudden we're starting to see growth perk up over the past month. And so we're going to look at three value growth pairs. Large cap growth is, is far and away the best performer, uh, but we'll see that small cap growth ETF IWO has hit a moment of truth and looks like it's breaking out. And within that small cap growth ETF, I'm focused on technology and healthcare. And we'll look at those two small cap sector ETFs. So I want to start off with some comparisons using three value growth pairs. So basically what we have here is we've got mid cap value and growth IJJ and IJK, large cap value and growth IVE and IVW and then small cap value and grow, growth, IWN and IWO. And I've got this in a chart list, and I'm looking at it in summary format. I've got one year here. So we can see over a one-year period, mid-cap value is outperforming mid-cap growth with a bigger gain, but still both are up big. They're both in uptrends overall. We can see that large cap value is underperforming large cap growth over the past year, Large cap growth is up 53% versus 40% for large cap value. And then if we look at small caps, we can see that small cap value is up 88%, whopping 88%, and small cap growth is up 80%. So it's kind of a mixed picture, but big gains all the way around. But in the large cap arena, clearly growth is still the place to be. And that is even more prevalent. We're going to look at the shorter term charts. So I'm going to switch this out, and I'm going to go to a year-to-date YTD. And there we can see year-to-date, man, value is outperforming growth in the mid-cap arena, in the large-cap arena, and in the small-cap arena. So 2021 has been about value. That's kind of the reopen trade. Uh, but then if we look at the past month, we can see things have started to shift again. So mid-cap growth is outperforming mid-cap value. Large-cap growth is outperforming large-cap value. All four of these are up. Now we can see small caps are down, but we can see small-cap value is down more than small-cap growth. And that means that small-cap growth is outperforming small-cap value. So over the past month, we've seen a shift where growth is outperforming value again. So let's look at some of these individual charts. Now, I'll just start with some quick candle glance charts so we can get a quick overview, but we can see the value growth pair here, the first two charts, and we can see it's a steady uptrend for the S&P 500 value ETF, just a zigzag higher. We can see growth had that correction there and then bounced and then pulled back and broke out in early April and is hitting a new high with a huge move. And then if we look at the mid-cap, we can see that mid-cap value has been steadily working its way higher and is hitting a 52-week high today. And then mid-cap growth was consolidating, but now it is breaking out. And if you look on this chart at a bigger, a bigger chart, will show an ascending triangle. And then there's the laggard, small cap growth. And that's what we're going to look at in detail today. But it looks like it is trying to turn the corner and break out. And then there's small cap value. It just kind of consolidated after a pullback. But it's still in an uptrend overall. So here's large cap value. And it is the runaway leader of this group of six value growth ETFs. And there's that pullback. So all of them, you know, pretty much peaked, especially the growth ETFs, the three growth ETFs peaked in mid-February, corrected into March. But you can see that large cap growth came out of its correction earlier than mid cap growth and small cap growth is just now coming out. So you had the breakout there, another little flag, 
and a flag breakout there and a big move higher. So this is a very sharp move higher. It's getting overbought. I mean, your setups were here on the pullbacks. Right now, if you say growth is leading value, okay, great, big deal, but there's not a setup on this chart. There is a setup in the small cap growth ETF. So here's the uh, large cap value ETF, and there's nothing really here. You had some pullbacks along the way, but right now we're in trend. We're in the trend monitoring phase. And the way I approach this is I'm looking for medium-term patterns. I'm looking for short-term pullbacks, short-term bullish continuation patterns. And so we had a big breakout in November. And then we just had short-term patterns to work with. You know, a little pullback here, a little pullback there, RSI getting oversold, uh, pennant forming there, a little pullback there. Uh, but nothing much to work with except these very short consolidations. And that's the way it sometimes is. So here is mid-cap growth, and it is getting a breakout. And this is kind of an ascending triangle. I could draw this line sloping down, and it would be a triangle, but it really doesn't make that much of a difference because they're both an ascending triangle or symmetrical triangle after a big advance is a bullish continuation pattern. And then the pattern within the pattern, you had this pullback, and then you had this piercing pattern and that big move up after the piercing pattern. So that was the early signal, and now we're getting a breakout to a 52-week high for mid-cap growth. So mid-cap growth is back. And then we look at mid-cap value. We can see that it is on the verge of a 52-week high, but it's lagging a little bit. But come on, it's not in a downtrend. I mean, this is a strong and steady uptrend. You had this bullish engulfing here and then follow through. And you didn't follow through after the follow through, but still, you know, one day of follow through after a bullish engulfing is enough. You settle down and then continued higher. So mid cap value still looks good. And here's the one that is now perking up. This is the Russell 2000 growth ETF, IWO. And so you've had this massive advance, 220 to 340. That's like 200, that's like 120 points. That's over 50%. That's a massive advance. And you're entitled to a correction. And so you get this kind of triangle thing, maybe a wedge, but you're digesting this big gain. And that's needed in order to prepare the way for another leg higher. So you got this little breakout. And now we've got a little pullback and a breakout working there. So it looks like small cap growth is perking back up. And then if we look at small cap value, we can see uh, it's not as exciting, but it's just as bullish. I mean, there's an uptrend. You had a pullback. You had this bullish engulfing, a bounce, a little pennant maybe forming, and on the verge of a pennant breakout. But I want to focus on small cap growth right now because I think that's where the driver is for IWM in general, small caps. So here's the main analysis page at trendinvestorpro.com, and I cover a wide array of ETFs, and I'm not going to show you every pattern that is working out there. I am focused on uptrends, and I'm focused on bullish continuation patterns within those uptrends. Flags, pennants, triangles, wedges, short-term oversold conditions. I have a very narrow focus on how to partake in uptrends here at trendinvestorpro.com. And so I do a big ETF report on Thursdays, and that will be coming out later today if you're watching this on stock charts. And one thing I pointed out in last week's report, a lot of people were mentioning this head and shoulders pattern in IWM. Well, I didn't think it was a very robust pattern and that was for a couple of reasons. Uh, but the main reason, I can't get this to stick. Hold on. Let me get this up at the top here. So basically, you had a 60% advance in IWM. And after such a big advance, you're entitled to a rest. And so people are talking about this potential head and shoulders. And yeah, maybe it is, but but it's a consolidation within an uptrend. And it's not the kind of pattern I'm looking for. I'm looking for continuation patterns. I don't want to bet against the bigger uptrend. 
I don't want to bet against the bull market, and we're in a bull market. So, you know, here's a chart in the lower left-hand corner that shows that potential head and shoulders. You know, if you broke down at 219, yeah, maybe you have a pullback. And even if you break so-called neckline support, I think that would set up the next bullish setup because that would make an oversold condition within a bigger uptrend, and maybe you'd have a wedge. Uh, but that might not happen because it looks like the IWM growth part is breaking out, and that's what we're going to focus on next. So I went to the iShares website because I wanted to know which sectors were driving the Russell 2000 value and growth ETFs. And this is the sector breakdown for the Russell 2000 value ETF. And we can see financials, industrials, consumer discretionary. Those are the big three. So if you're interested in this Russell 2000 value, you would want to watch regional banks and small cap financials, small cap industrials, retail, and small cap consumer discretionary. If you look at the growth end, you can see it's going to be a different makeup here. And surprisingly, a bit, is healthcare. 32% of the ETF is the biggest driver. And I would assume that's some smaller medical devices players and biotechs and such. Information technology, 21%. So those two make up over 50% of the ETF. And so I want to look at the small cap healthcare and small cap technology sectors to see how those charts are shaping up because their performance is going to influence the performance of the Russell 2000 growth ETF. So here is the ETF for the small cap healthcare ETF, and there are nine small cap healthcare, small cap sector ETFs, and they're from Invesco. They tie to the S&P small cap 600. We don't have ETFs or indexes for the Russell 2000 sectors, uh, but you can see here that this is going to capture what's going on with small cap healthcare. Big move up again from late October to mid-February, and then a consolidation, a triangle consolidation. So you can see we got selling pressure coming in here, and then boom, the bulls come in buying pressure, but then we get more selling pressure up here, but then we get some buying pressure here. So it's basically a battle between bulls and bears to digest these big gains and look for a breakout here to signal a continuation higher and power the Russell 2000 growth ETF higher because it's the biggest sector, healthcare. And then if we look at the second biggest sector, and keep in mind these two sectors account for 50% of the Russell 2000 growth ETF. So here is technology, and it has a wedge working. So it's had a huge advance. It needs to digest this advance, and it does so with a consolidation. So we had a surge we broke above that upper line and then consolidated again. It's kind of like a flag. So you have this big move up, another short-term consolidation. It looks like we're poised to break out and move to new highs here. So if you'd like to know more about TrendInvestorPro.com, you can click on the link in the description below. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll talk to you again next week. Have a great day.